Hey, so I'm back and making a video and at the absolutely astonishing rate of uploads on my channel, you should be proud of me. Bearded Wonder, you may ask, why haven't you made a video in like three months? Well, if you remember, my PC broke and I had to replace GPU. Yes, you may exclaim, but didn't you do that like two months ago? And my response to that is, shut up. Nah, the, the real reason why I've been gone is because I've been busy, terribly busy in fact. School has sucked so much, and over the past few months I was finishing up my senior design project for last semester. Yes, you heard me right there. And it was a very long, annoying, and frustrating process that extended through a good portion of the summer and really shouldn't have happened, but hey, I want my degree so I have to please the professors. I did finally finish up with that not too long ago and we passed, so now I'm pretty happy. Also since my internship got cancelled, I'm spending the summer living with my parents and working here at my hometown. It's actually a pretty good deal and I'm not paying rent which is a lifesaver to me. So yeah, it's not too bad. After I fixed my PC, I was still able to play games, but just not that many due to having to work on my project and working at my job, and I've recently been playing a bit of Halo, Kingdom Come Deliverance, Battlefield, and Quake. I've been playing a few other games here and there, but those are the main ones that I've been playing. I do have a review planned out and another video planned out, but as always, it'll take some time. So that should explain why I was gone this time. But what about the other times? Like that one time where I said I was going to be gone for like three or four months at my internship, but it turned into like nine months. Yeah, so to start things out, I want to reiterate that this channel is nothing more than a hobby to me, which keeps it to something that I like to do instead of something that I have to do, if that makes sense. Basically, how I run this channel is that whenever I feel like making a video on something, then I will do that. And whenever I don't feel like making video, then, well, I don't. It's a pretty simple process that keeps me sane, and honestly, before I left for my internship last year, I wasn't really having fun with YouTube, so once my internship was finished, I wasn't really interested in making a video for quite some time. So that's the main reason why I disappeared for nine months or so. But on the other hand, there were a few other smaller reasons. First of all, as always, school took up a good portion of my time, but that's a given and a constant. The other main reason why is because I now have a girlfriend. Yes, a mechanical engineering student whose main hobbies are playing video games and making videos on those video games managed to get a girlfriend who is real, and we've been dating for almost a year now. Now she doesn't take me away from my games, and in fact she's been very supportive of my hobbies and often just lets me have time to myself to play games and whatnot, but of course I do enjoy spending my time with her because she does genuinely make me happy. In general, I've been in a much better mental and physical state with her. I've been doing a lot more of the active things such as going on hikes, walks, and exercising that I like doing, and now I can actually have more of a reason to do it since I have someone to do it with. And I've also been a lot more social. And of course we are being safe during these times and not going out to public places, but I have been a lot more social and active in my life in general and it's helped me put myself in a much better place in life. I've also been teaching her how to play games here and there, and we started with a hat in time and she actually did really well so I'm quite proud of her. And she's also been sitting in and um, playing some games with me and Butler, so it's been great. Joe will be back in, in just a minute. Okay. <laughs> Here, I'll try to move. <laughs> oh, I'm doing it. Oh, 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 is she playing the game? Is she a winner? Wait, oh, I'm shooting. <laughs> I think the best thing about it is you missed the completely open door and you went to one that's locked. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> I am a Halo master. <laughs> oh shit! I am a god. Goddess, please. What's going on in here? Are we? Getting... What is going on here? 
I'm I'm being a winner, Joe. Win, win harder. Oh, I died. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, that's the reason why I disappeared for about nine months, and will most likely be the reason why I disappear in the future, which is probable. Always know that I do enjoy making content and playing games, but sometimes I simply don't have the time for it, or sometimes I just don't really feel like making a video, which to me is kind of a good thing, so I'm not putting out stuff that I'm not happy with. Now, what does this mean for the future? Well, obviously I have no upload schedule, and I'm incredibly unreliable when it comes to making content, but I still do my best. As I said, I do have a few videos planned for the near future, but if you decide that's not worth subscribing for, then I totally understand, because in the end it doesn't really affect me since this is just a hobby. But if you do decide to stick around, then I do really appreciate it. I do recognize many of your names when you're commenting, and it's really cool to see familiar names popping up here and there. It gives a sort of a community-like feel to the people who watch me. So yeah, that's pretty much the video, but I do want to leave you with uh, something to think about. Earlier, when I said that I was getting tired of YouTube before I left for nine months or so, what I meant was that I was getting tired of all the negativity on the site and on the internet in general. And let's be clear that there's a difference between being critical and being negative, in fact a huge difference. But there was a trend to be negative just to be negative on YouTube and the internet in general just because you can and it led to a lot of general jerks on the internet and I personally believe that the idea of being able to hide behind the safety of your computer screen while being a terrible person with absolutely no repercussions spearheaded a lot of the social and cultural issues that we are facing today. Is it the main factor? I don't know, because people have always been terrible, but it definitely brought out a lot of the terrible people and grouped them together and made them even louder and more prevalent. During that time, I was really getting tired of all the negative aspects of the internet and just decided to shut it out of my life until I was in a better place, and now I am. Again, I've been a lot more physically active and I'm advancing in my degree and um, getting ready for starting my career and I also have an amazing person in my life who uh, has been incredibly supportive, so I'm in a much better place now. I still avoid the negativity because let's be real and say that life is just too short to focus on the negatives, plus video games are meant to be a hobby and should be played for fun. So this is why I tend to focus on the positive aspects of a game, because I believe that the positives can outweigh the negatives to a certain point. No, I haven't been bribed, just like a certain person thought I was, but I'm just doing my best to make the internet a more positive place. So yeah, I know that this isn't my normal content and I wanted to make a more normal video, but the ones that I had planned took much longer than I thought, so I decided to make this one first. I'll be back to normal eventually, but thank you for watching and thank you for your patience. And until the next video, have a good one.